Okay, welcome back. So, as I mentioned in the last video, we've already talked about how to create this carton um, visualization. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the can. Now, it's not going to be this can. Um, I found this can on uh, iStock just because it was on an angle and I thought it looked quite cool resting against the um, the carton for the um, thumbnail. So, it's similar a similar can, um, same principles, um, it's just a different image, that's all. So let's go to the actual can. And this is what it looks like when it's done. And this is what it looks like when it starts. So you can even see all the beads of water on the outside. And if you watched the video before, you might have an inkling of an idea of how that, that happens. But I'll show you anyway. So let's start with the original, which is, let's get rid of that. Don't need that. So we're going to start with the original image, which is this. And we're going to do a similar thing to what we did before, but we're not going to use it going Illustrator as much this time. So we're going to start off with a rectangle. So I'm going to draw a rectangle, doesn't matter what colour, roughly the size of the can. Okay. And then we're going to turn it into a smart object by right clicking. Smart object. So we're going to go to Edit, Transform, Warp. And what we're not going to do is we're not going to start moving these. We're going to go to the Warp um, drop down menu and we're going to select Cylinder from the options. Now, obviously, the perspective of my cylinder isn't uh, quite, it, it doesn't, you can't see it from the top basically. So it's got a pretty flat line at the top, but there's some perspective at the bottom. So let's sort that out. So let's just turn that transformation back on. So transform, warp, cylinder, right. And then what we can do is start moving these points. Now this, this one controls the bottom and this one controls the side. This controls the top, the side, and this controls the top. And again, we're not bothered about it being perfect. We want it just a little bit outside because we're going to do that masking again. So we're just going to go around the edge, get it fairly tight. We can adjust this later on. It's all live. And then set it using the tick when we're happy. So that's good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to open this up. So double click to open this um, file out. Go to Illustrator and select the graph we're going to use. So let's let's change it to the lemon this time. Let's let's try the lemon. So we we'll grab all the lemon, make sure we've got all the layers. Graphics aren't selected, so just make sure they're selected. Like so. Copy. Back into Photoshop. Paste. Scale them up a little, a little bit. Just make sure it fits the area double click and again remember to save we've just got to click on save before we return back to our original file and then when we return to our original file we should find that we've got something wrapped around it it's not perfect we're gonna sort that out in a minute so we've got it wrapped around you can see it's curving around here it's curving around here. We've got like these bits here that are hanging over. We'll sort that out. It's a little bit stretched here, so we'll, we can sort that out in a minute as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just sort out this little bit of uh, typography here. It's a little bit stretched here, so I don't really like that. So I'm just going to go back to my warp. And there's a little box here, and you can actually pull that. Can you see it's stretching it? So that pulls it the way. I can pull it in this way. Now, there is limitations to it. And I still think there's a little bit of stretching going on there. I'm still not happy with that. So what I can do is I can go to the layer that I've done, which is rectangle, and I can transform this and hold in the shift key down. I can just squash that in a little bit. So I'm 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 kind of like not doing it the way that you'd hope. You'd hope that the computer would do it exactly, but I'm actually having to force it to, to do it how I want. So I'm just squashing that in a little bit, saving it. And then when I come back to my can, hopefully it should have actually made it look a little bit better. It's a little bit tighter this time. That's looking a lot better. 
Next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a mask. So for those of you that can remember from the last video, so we're going to we can turn this off, select the mask, or select the uh, can, sorry. We've got it selected. Go back to our rectangle layer and choose mask. So that's cutting out all the edges. So we've now got nothing hanging over the edge. It's just the pure edge of the can. And then we go to, well, what we want to do is change our blending mode to, not to soft light, it's just snap to that, it shouldn't be on that one. To multiply. And it's looking pretty good. The last thing we need to do is we need to change the blending mode on this layer. So right click, blending options. And again, what we're gonna do is we're going to hold Alt down, we're just gonna bring this little one back and you'll see that the highlights start to come through the can. Can you see that? The more I pull it, the more it disappears. So we don't want to pull it too much. We want to pull it just enough for it to be able to be visible. So around about there, can be good enough. And there we have it. What it looked like before, and now what it looks like with um, a graphic applied. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.